this is called as 10 point circle so with this 10 point circle we are going to understand addition we are going to understand subtraction and we are going to understand multiplication but today first we are going to understand addition so what is called as 10 point circle as the name suggests there is a circle can you see the circle here right this is the circle and there is a 10 point on the circle 1.2.3.4.5.6.7.8.9.10 so what is the meaning of that the meaning is very simple if you are going to add 1 and 9 what you will get 1 plus 9 what is 8 10. plus 8 plus 2 10 10 and what is 7 plus 3 10 10 6 plus 4 10 and what is 5 plus 5 10 good so in all these numbers we are getting 10 right all these numbers we are getting 10. So we have to keep in mind, this is called as number pairs. 9 plus 1, look at this, all these numbers, I need them down here. Look at this. 1 plus 9 is what? 1 plus 9, 10. 2 plus 8, 10. 3 plus 7, 10. 4 plus 6, 10. 5 plus 5, 10. 10. So we are going to keep in mind all these numbers. So if I'm going to ask you what is the pair of seven, what you are going to tell me? Three. What is the pair of seven? Three. And what is the pair of nine? One. One. And what what is the pair of six? Four. So tell me pair of six is what? Four. 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 So now look at this. The summation of two digit number is ten. And if you already know the one number is eight. So second number is what? Four. Because 8 plus 2 is 10, right? If the second number is, first number is 7, what is the second number? 3. 3. 3, simple. If the one number is 6, what is the second number? 4. Because 6 plus 4 is? 10. 10. 10. Always, always you have to find the numbers who has a value 10. Okay? Now, 1, if there is a one number 1, so second, second number is? 9. Okay. So tell me, what is the pair of 8? Anybody can tell me what is the pair of 8? 2. 2. Just 10. Good. And what is the pair of 7? 3. Maybe we, we are copying from here, some right asking me here. Now tell me the pair of 5. 5. Pair of 6. 4. Pair of 3. 7. Pair of 2. 8. eight. And pair of 9. 1. 1. one. Pair of seven. Three. Three. Last time I'm asking to you, tell me pair of eight. Two. 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 Pair of two. Eight. eight. Pair of nine. Right. One. Pair of six. Four. 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 Pair of five. 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 Three. Pair of three. Uh, three. Four. Four. Seven. Five. Pair of Pair of two. Eight. Eight. Good. Now I'm going to teach you the addition. So suppose somebody asks you to add 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4. 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4. Four. 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 Good. Very good. 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4. So this is the number you have to add. So generally what you do? You are writing top to bottom. So 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4. That is the answer. 20. So this is a small number, so you can do it quickly. But if that number is big, it will become big one. So what you have to do? Instead of adding 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4, I'm writing 7. And what is the pair of 7? 3. So now 7 plus 3? 10. And now 6. What is the pair of 6? 4. We also 10. So 10 plus 10? 20. Now look at this number. I'm going to write down the next number. The number is 48 plus 16 plus 61 plus 32. Now look at this. I'm not going to add the number 8 plus 6 plus 1 plus 2 because you may find it different. 8 plus 6 is adding a different. What I'm going to do? 8 and plus 2. What is 8 plus 2? 10. Good. And 10 plus 6? 6? 16. 16. Good. And 16 plus 1? 17. 
Everybody got it? What is the answer? 17. 17. So I'm writing 7 here. Or what is the carry over? 1. 1. one. I'm writing one here. Now, what we are going to do here? Tell me, can you have any idea? I'm going to find the pairs. Sir, the oh. answer is 157. Very good. Right now, look at this pair. 4 plus 6, that is 10. And now we're at 30, 14, and 50. The answer is 157. Now, tell me, first method is easy or second method is easy? Second method is easy. Good. So, you have to find the pair. Don't write down. I was going to give you the questions so you can write down there. Now add the next question. 3, 4, 2, 8, 5, 4, 2, 7. Give me the addition of this question, everyone. Solve this question. This four, Explain you. 15. 15. 15. 15. Sir, found it. Very good. So the answer is 1,355. 1,355. 1, Who got this answer? Yes, sir, I got. First explanation is 6 plus 4, right? So 6 plus 4 is 10. Good. You don't write down 6 plus 5 because this is not the pair. Always find the pair so your addition will become easy. Anything, if I'm going to add with 10, it will become easy. 10 plus 1 is 11. 10 plus... 6 is 16. Anybody can do it eventually, right? Yes. That is the reason you have to find the value which is getting a 10. So 6 plus 4 is 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15. So 5 is there, correct? Now 1 is there. It, it means now I have to find the pair here as well. So what is the pair eight of? Plus two, 8 plus 2. Very good. 8 plus 2 is the pair. So now 8 plus 2. Is, what is the number here? Okay. So 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 4 is? Uh, 10 plus 40. 2, so, uh, 14 plus 1, 15. Correct. So this is correct. Now 1 is carry over here. Now tell me. Sir, 7 3 plus? 7 plus 2. 10. 10 plus 2? 12, 13. 12 plus 1? Got it? Yes. Now I'm going to ask you one more question and question will become a bigger. Okay? Do you afraid with the different question? Hard question? Then I'm going to give you the hard push. Tell me the next push. Okay, sir. 7, 3, 8, 9, 5, 4, 1, 3, 7, 2, 6, 4, 1, 5, 4, 3. Do it now, everyone. Can you do it? You have to find the pairs. If you are able to find the pair, you can do it very easily. Okay, any other answer? Sir, yes, 20,690. So I'm going to explain this question. So if you are upset, if you are confused, just look at this. So it will become clear. Here, I'm going to find the pair of nines. What is the pair of nines? Right, right, right. So 9 plus 1? 10. Yeah. 10 plus 5? 15. 15 plus 4? 19. 19. So I'm writing 9 here and 1 is right. here. Can you find the pair of 8? Sir, 8 plus 2. 8 plus 2, that is 10. And 3 10. plus 7? 3, uh, 10. 10. So 10 plus 10, 20. And 20 plus 1? 21. What? What is the carryover? 2. Now look at this. 6. 10. 10 plus 2? 12. 12 plus 3? 15. 15 plus 1? So this is correct. Now 1 is carry over. Sir, now any pair here? 5 plus 3. 10. And 5 plus 4? Uh, 9. 9. 19 and plus 1, 10. So 10 plus 10? 20. So 20619 is the correct answer. Tell me the next question, everyone. 8, 5, 4, 3, 6, 3, 9, 8, 2, 3, 7, 7, 6, 1, 7. Tell me the answer. Do you know the pair? Everyone, don't forget the pairs. Pair of 9 is 1, pair of 2 is 8, pair of 3 is 7, pair of 4 is 6, and pair of 5 is 5. Don't forget all these pairs. Sir? Found the answer. Very good.
What is the answer? Sir, uh, ah, one lakh ninety six thousand nine hundred thirty. This is your answer. Yes. So the process I'm going to explain you again. Look at this, everybody. What is a pair? Now you have to give me the answer. What is a pair of six? Can you find any pair? Now look at this. There is no pair of six. So you have to find the other pair. Three and seven. This is the pair. Yes or no? Yes. Seven plus. So ten plus six. Carry over one. Now what is the pair here? Seven plus three. Seven plus three. Ten. Ten plus two. Twelve. Twelve plus one. Thirty. Carry over one here. Now any pair here? Six plus four. Six plus four. Ten. Ten plus eight. Eighteen. Eighteen plus one. Nineteen. What? Now one. Now any pair here? There is no pair of five. Nine and one is the pair. So nine plus one ten. Ten plus five fifteen. Fifteen plus one six. Now one is there. Seven plus three. Again seven plus three is the pair. Three plus ten. Ten plus eight eighteen. Eighteen plus one nine. Ninety. Very good. Oh, everyone. Because everyone got the correct answer, and you all are quick as well. So do you like it, Isan? Using Vedic maths. Yes. Okay. Using the same concept, you can also do the subtraction. You can also do the multiplication. Addition, multiplication. All these are very easy using the Vedic mathematics concept. Okay. All this is helpful. And going to give it a little bit idea. So suppose there is a number, any number. Eight, or if you have to multiply this eight two, you have to multiply with uh, nine. Okay, so instead of multiplying with nine, you can multiply with ten. What is the multiplication of it? Eighty two into ten. Tell me eighty two into ten. Eight twenty. Right, very easy. Eight twenty. So in the next class, I will teach you how to do the multiplication using any number like eighty two into seven, eight, eight three five into sixty nine. I will teach you how to do it mentally. Like eight three five multiply with ten. What is the answer? Eight three five multiply with ten. Eight eight hundred three hundred and fifty. Right. So multiplying with ten is very easy. Similarly, if you are going to multiply with hundred, that is also easy. Eight three five multiply with hundred. What is the answer? Eighty three thousand five hundred. Eight eighty three thousand three thousand five hundred. So like you are doing PT, you can also going to do the same kind of multiplication like this. You can do the cal calculation very fast of this number as well. Okay? That is the thing which I'm going to discuss in the next class. And this is also the 10 point circle concept in multiplication. In subtraction, how 10 point circle has? Suppose there is a number 10000 and you are going to subtract 8764. So using 10 point circle, you don't have to take the borrow. Okay? Simply you can check it very easily. This is the answer. Okay? This is very good. But this is also helpful if this is a number like this. Okay? Still this is helpful. And you don't have to take any borrow in any number. Suppose you can't subtract 2 minus 6, but you don't have to take borrow. I will going to tell you. And this is also a 10 point circle. So after knowing the Vedic math concept, you can do the calculation very fast. Okay?